So, a new piece of research published in the journal Cell, open access, free to download, go and check it out for yourself, has confirmed that the genetic picture in Iron Age Scandinavia was a complex one, with people coming into the area as well as leaving it. In other words, even for Norse-speaking peoples in the Viking Age, calling yourself genetically a pure Viking was not as easy as the TV adverts may say. My name is Alex. I thought I was half Polish, half Caribbean. This is the moment my ancestry DNA revealed I'm actually a Viking. Regardless of Viking being a job description as opposed to a human origin story, this is not a surprise. People are always from somewhere else. After all, we're all related to each other. We're human beings. I mean, the alternative is that Iron Age Scandinavians somehow sprung out of the ground, fully formed. It's true, you don't see many dwarf women. And in fact, they are so alike in voice and appearance <laughs> that they're often mistaken for dwarf men. It's the beards. And this in turn has given rise to the belief that there are no dwarf women. And the dwarfs just spring out of holes in the ground. 